Crazy Taco Tuesday. Dun 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 dun. It's Crazy Taco Tuesday. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> It is Coldplay Adventures of a Lifetime here on high365.co.uk. It is Wednesday night. My name is Mike. This is Intersection Music. It is phenomenally good to be with you. It always is. Let me check the shout outs. What's up, man? From Val. Hey, Val. Speaking to me from the live chat. Remember, you guys can request. If you like requests, go straight through to me. I have a request for Linkin Park from Under Review. I'm going to be checking that out soon. What's happening? So this is vlog number uh, this is vlog number four, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about this, about radio, because it's it's kind of the other side of my life. About four years now that I've been sort of involved with radio. So it started. Let me just. So it started. <clears throat> I'm a musician. Well, I mean, I have musical instruments. Let's let's say that. Recorded a couple of songs. Got a bit of play. One day, I was invited to an internet radio station to come in for an interview. Pretty cool. So I got myself uh, with my guitar and Shane, my long-suffering brother who played drums on the album, he came down with a cajun, which is this weird little box. It was called, it was Euro Trash Music. Went there and we checked it out and sat down and we played. I've, I, it's on YouTube somewhere. I'll find, I'll find the link to it. You can check it out. Went down and we played the played the tunes and it went well, but I kind of left that experience going. I would love it so much more if I actually got to be behind the desk and I got to be interviewing the other people. I really I enjoyed that. It took me a while and then I phoned the radio station back and I said to them, "Hey, would you mind if I came in and tried out?" And they said, "Yes." Yeah. So I went onto what they call their Joe Schmo show. And I did, I did an hour and I loved it. And I didn't get called back, so I sucked, but I loved it. I went from there to local radio station Rock FM, which I got told about. Ended up being the breakfast DJ on Rock FM for about two years. But the signal didn't go further than you could throw a rock. But it was cool because I went in every morning and I got to talk to a lot of people. I got to meet a lot of people, which was excellent. I was still not very good. The radio station sort of died, whatever happened. Uh, either way, it ended up closing. So one of the girls that I worked with uh, started up her own internet radio station. It was amazing. It was uh, Lucky Entertainment at the time. It's now Lucky Radio. Go check them out. They're still running. LuckyRadio.co.za. It's a local internet radio station. Worked there for a while. And then I had started up my own thing with my buddy Jack Rami, which is rocknet.co.za. You can still check that out. We still go strong with that. And then I do what I'm doing tonight, which is working for a British radio station, hive365.co.uk. Very, very cool. So I'm going to get back to this, and I will get back to you just now. Michael Jackson with Beat It here on Hive365. Just before that, Gorillas, Clint Eastwood, and we started off Coldplay, Adventure of a Lifetime. Tonight's kind of the half and half. I'm half doing radio uh, over here. So that's still, there's the mic, still going. Oh, God, that's not supposed to. That was pretty weird. The microphone fell off. Either way, tonight we're working out some chords. I'm going to go and play some music in the desert uh, with Adam. I was doing just fine before I met you Drank too much and that's an issue But I'm okay So baby, pull me closer In the backseat of your rover That I know you can't afford Bite that tattoo on your shoulder I think that'll go down in the desert So that's a couple of tracks we got ready for the desert I hope it's gonna be good So what is it that brings me back to radio? Why do I do this? And I think it's the communication. I think it's being able to speak to people. When I was a kid, I remember I'd go to sleep listening to the radio and picture what the guys would look like. And I don't know if that's ever happened to you, where then you actually saw the radio person, you're like, oh my God, oh, oh my God. That doesn't look anything like what I thought. I don't know. Maybe I just do it because I have a face for radio. Who knows? But I know 
that I enjoy connecting with people. I enjoy the connection. And I think for me, that's the most important. So radio gives me that. It gives me connection to a wider, a wider group of people. And I love that. It could just be that I'm a bit bored. This here, this I got when I was in England. Um, <clears throat> we went to something called the Stone Rock Festival and we saw The Darkness and we saw another band and we saw Alice Cooper. We ended up hanging out with Alice Cooper's guitarist and drummer in some nightclub in Soho. Absolutely unbelievable night. It was something I will not forget very soon. <laughs> 